Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, actually I'm okay. okay. It's weird. I'm okay. Yeah. But I was awake. So we arrived last day, yesterday around 11 ish. Right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It was Sarah's bed. That was mine. And I was highly confused by the, uh, well, how would you call it, like the control system for the AC system because it was on cooling and on warm. Now it's nice. For half the night I was freezing my bum off because that thing was pretty good for some reason. I'm <laughs> not used to that. But it's going to be a long and very busy day today because it's now at 6 a.m. in the morning and there are busy bees downstairs already. So yeah. <sighs> Let's just wake up. I have to change into my suit and I have no clue what the schedule is, so we'll see what is happening today. I, I guess that I will just follow people <laughs> and see where we get because Sarah and I will split up in a sec. Because Sarah will be with the bridesmaids and uh, the bride, and I will probably be hanging out with the guys and hopefully make it to the church or I guess something like that. I, I really don't know what I'm doing. First thing she does. Camera, camera, camera. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Yeah, we're we're legitimately in the middle of countryside area. Oh my so god, this is pretty. see sunrise and then this is spooky. And then this is, <laughs> this spooky. is where horror movies start like and people get killed. Last night when we arrived here, the navigation system said we would be a mile further, basically taking a, a right into a cornfield. Yeah, that was fun. But since last time that I had that happen was when we drove to Andy in Toledo. It was too early, so we thought, let's just drive a little bit further, see where it goes. <laughs> but apparently the number system is a little bit messed up here. So they actually have a number that is from a further place. Open the car. Open the car. I need my own camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we took like 10 minutes more to... Uh, to get here and it's very difficult to find houses when you don't know exactly how the numbering works so we, we drove about a mile further and then like three miles back we found it so that's good uh, the biggest downside is we didn't have cell reception so this is legitimately how the horror movies start everybody's getting their makeup and hair done i'm filming a bit taking a couple of pictures why not i'm already here <laughs> might i just say that i kind of been falling in love a little bit with the countryside right now. This is a nice, uh, well, let's just call it nice area. <laughs> the road is closed partially because there is a marathon happening, which is actually the first one ever here, and they're not putting a lot of effort in it, which is good. But uh, we have to take a couple of back roads, and you see a lot of nice, nice stuff here. I do honestly love America just because of these things. It's a really gorgeous church that we walk over there. I mean, we have uh, pretty uh, okay, churches, obviously, in Germany. I got it. Okay. I'm about to make it. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can be well, the very end. You can be the very end. You can be the very end. You can be the very end. <laughs> there is a lot of German. Jünglingsverein. Uh, Verein. Verein is still a German word we use. Jünglings, not so much. I don't understand why he does that. How about turning it around so nothing gets on the lens? And by the way, mister. Look what I found. It was in there. And there's a cemetery behind the church. And the fun fact, besides people, no, never mind. A lot of the names are German because this town has a lot of German heritage. I assume that a lot of settlers from Germany came here. And you have one family which is like, what is it, Holtheide and Goethe-Möller that is all over. The cemetery you find crepes all over it with those names there are other names like schmidt and sites and i think the wedding is ready to move anyway i wanted to show you a bit because it's kind of interesting just a lot about the history and if you imagine which one this one this grave was 
opened last time 1966 and that one over there was just opened like 2012 okay it sounds creepy or whatever enough uh, of this back to the party bus when you arrived here that's the pink bus is our bus there was this other bus us and we were like holy shit are we allowed to come in here i'm not sure if you can hear us but there's another waiting <laughs> he would with a red fluffy head i don't see a red head that's red head yeah talking about red heads i saw the scouts something scouts boy scouts boy scouts is the one i was looking for right yep. <laughs> really and i was like what's happening that's their home <laughs> They live here in the basement. <laughs> yes, in the basement. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. It feel, food feels like potluck right now. So like buffet and whatever. Yeah. There's the whole party. It's just crazy. America seems to have always like eight bridesmaids and groomsmen. It's a lot. Yep. <laughs> You're just saying yep today? Yep. Okay. Hello. I guess we both didn't really vlog much today sorry for that we were kind of busy we are driving home now we did plan on staying with Sasha and her boyfriend I don't know for some reason all of us were like uh, let's go home so we ended up they left already we ended up staying filming a bit more but we're like we want to go home the kitties are alone the kitties weren't fully alone we asked luke to look after them i hope he did <laughs> haven't heard anything from him yet my phone is kind of dead and we didn't really have wi-fi so yeah <laughs> i hope they didn't take the house apart but they are not really like crazy kitties look what's in our cart i think it wants to come home with us <laughs> looks perfect wait for you it's not coming off <laughs> now you can triple and trouble and you know the dr pepper won't end up on your shirt yeah but i actually have helped <laughs> so I'm never, i can actually not get it off <laughs> oh that's pretty i'm a pretty plate of flower i have the darkness i'm drunk i'm bad kitty <laughs> That's a good thing to be decided to drive home because otherwise we might not have made it. Ah, ah I could sleep forever down. <laughs>